Hi everyone, John Oye here with another update video. So, today I'm just doing some ironing. Now, for those persons who will be new to my channel, you might be wondering, okay, so what's so fancy about doing ironing? Well, I'm using solar. And to make it even more interesting, I'm using a 12 volt iron which I ordered from China through eBay. And as you can see right here in this video, it's actually doing a pretty good job in removing crush and wrinkle from my clothes. So I actually just finished some washing and I'm just doing some ironing now for the week. So I now my iron on a Sunday and I have enough power coming in from the panel that I am able to now iron while my batteries are kept on float. And you can look right here, did a great job. Let's look at something else, like for example, a pants. Alright, and I'm just spraying some water. Even though it's a dry iron, but yeah, I still use water some of the times, depending on what clothes I'm actually ironing. And yeah, it does a pretty good job. One thing that I particularly don't really like about this iron is that uh, when it came, the iron that the wire that it came with were very thin, and so while using it, it got overheated. So I actually upgraded the wires to so thicker wires, and not much problem now. But I also noticed that while I'm ironing, sometimes I have to wait maybe five minutes for the iron to actually properly heat up, and sometimes during ironing ironing process now I have to stop sometime to give it other time just to heat up properly but what I realized that I didn't really have this problem on 24 volts but then again the iron actually got extremely hot on 24 volts so I think more or less that I think 16 volts probably they're about to be a, a more ideal for this iron instead of just regular maybe 14 but I remember while on 14 volts, it's gonna go back. Um, it's gonna go back down to maybe about 13 points, about 12 points, something volts. So, I think f maybe a steady 15, 14 volts, somewhere there about, would actually be more effective. This, as you can see, also is another type of material that I'm ironing, and you can see it's taking out. It's doing a very good job. What I think I'm gonna do to actually um, solve the problem now in terms of the heating of the iron and so forth. Is I'm gonna actually use a boost converter. I'm gonna get one that's rated for 250 watts since this iron is rated for 100 watts. And then I'm gonna set the voltage to about maybe 15 volts as I mentioned roughly and see how well which both which voltage actually is more effective for this iron. And you can see a very good job done. So, it's now 4 p.m. and I'm actually here now just watching a movie. I've finished all of my ironing now and so it's time to just sit back and relax and enjoy the last bit of sun that I have utilizing it just to watch some movie. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? And the best part is, it's all free power. Yeah. This of course is the control center and you can actually watch my previous videos where I will actually explain all of these components that I'm using here. Or well, you can see that I'm actually pulling just the amount of, just the amount of power that is needed just to power um, the TV and DVD and to keep the battery on float. I'll be doing an upgrade soon on my system but you gotta stay tuned for, for the update. So, I'm going to go back to watching my movie now, so thanks again for watching, do like, share and subscribe for future videos. Have a good day!